In much the same way, Obi-Wan Kenobi convinced Yoda that Luke Skywalker would learn patience in Empire Strikes Back, this Battlefront 2 community has learned patience when it comes to the community calendar. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Star Bazaar and to a very exciting Battlefront 2 news update. We finally got the July calendar detailing all of the in-game events happening this month in Battlefront 2. This is today's second upload. I was not expecting the calendar to drop today, and it came out right after I released my first video, so we're going to try to breeze through this as briefly as possible, but we'll be sure to hit all of the important details. Let's check it out. The first thing to bring up is the note at the top, where it says Double XP Weekend. Double experience will be active across all modes every Wednesday this month, so if you're looking to get some extra levels in on your troopers, your heroes, or even your starfighters, Wednesdays will be the day for you to play. Now let's move on to the highlight of the calendar, the different community challenges which will award victory poses and voice lines for different Clone Wars heroes. There are a total of four heroes who get quests, with each hero having two quests revolving around them which offer the rewards for that hero, and the first one is Darth Maul. Darth Maul gets quests from July 11th to July 20th, and the first one is called Feel Your Rage. The goal is to eliminate enemies using Darth Maul, and the reward upon completion is Darth Maul's animated victory pose, Vigilant, which can be seen from the collection menu right now. His second quest is called Old Rivalry, where you have to choke enemies using Darth Maul's chokehold ability, and the reward upon completing this quest is a voice line called Kenobi. It doesn't say exactly how many eliminations we have to do, or how many enemies we have to choke using chokehold, I'm sure we'll get those details when this event starts on the 11th, but it's nice to know that this is what to expect. The next hero to get quests is Obi-Wan Kenobi, and his quests are running from July 18th to July 27th. And that's interesting, because Darth Maul's quests end on July 20th, with Obi-Wan's beginning on July 18th, so there will in fact be some overlap with these events. Darth Maul's will be ending as Obi-Wan's is beginning but there will be a few days where both events are happening at the same time. Obi-Wan's first community quest is called For the Republic, and here we have to eliminate enemies using Obi-Wan Kenobi, but again, it does not tell you exactly how many enemies you have to eliminate. The reward upon completing For the Republic is Obi-Wan's animated victory pose, Body and Mind. His second quest is called Old Enemy, where you have to use Obi-Wan's all-out push ability against enemies, and the reward upon completing this one is a voice line called Maul. I'm assuming this voice line goes hand in hand with Darth Maul's voice line called Kenobi. It'll be interesting to hear them talking to each other, finally. So while Obi-Wan Kenobi's events end on July 20th, the next hero, General Grievous, his events begin on July 25th, and will be going on until August 4th. His first one is called Crush and Destroy, where you simply have to eliminate enemies with General Grievous, and the reward upon completion is his victory pose, Grievous Duelist, the animated one you see in the collection screen. His second event is called Enough of This, where you have to hit enemies with General Grievous's Claw Rush ability. This is interesting though, because with this event, Obi-Wan's All Out Push event, and the Chokehold event for Darth Maul, it simply says you have to hit the enemy. You don't have to necessarily defeat them using the ability, which is cool. The reward for completing enough of this for General Grievous will give him a voice line called Hello There, which is really cool actually because, fun fact, General Grievous is the first person in the Star Wars canon to actually use the phrase Hello There. It's not Obi-Wan's. Yoda has the final set of challenges spanning from August 1st to August 11th, and the first one is called Together We Fight, where you have to use Yoda's presence ability on allies, but once again it does not tell you how many allies you have to buff. The reward for completing this quest is a voice line called Trust You Not, and Yoda's second event is called Achieve Serenity, where you simply have to eliminate enemies with Yoda. The reward for finishing Achieve Serenity is the very cool animated victory pose for Yoda called Serenity. Easily the best animated victory pose out of these four so far. And with that, that is the community calendar for the month of July in Star Wars Battlefront 2. Like I mentioned a couple of news updates ago, as you can see, there are no typical limited time events on this calendar. There are no weekend events that offer triple XP or battle point events or anything like that. All of the events this month have to do with these Clone Wars heroes and their prizes. Also keep in mind that July has no game update, like we've been getting the monthly game updates every month so far. These community challenges are essentially taking the place of the game update this month, so just as a reminder, do not expect a game update to drop in July. August will be next.
But with that, that will bring this short Battlefront 2 news update to an end. Let me know how you feel about these community quests, which one are you looking forward to the most, and which prize are you most looking forward to unlocking? Let me know below, and if you like the coverage today, be sure to give the video a thumbs up, and consider subscribing if you're new. That's going to do it from me though. This has been your boy Turkish Delight, and I will see you all out on the Battlefront. Peace.